Hey guys, hope all of you are doing great. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see 7 interesting Excel tricks or functions. This will be really valuable for you. We will try to do it as quick as possible. Let's get started right away. First trick, right? we are given data like this. right? Suppose you want to see all the values, right? basically all the 4 columns, but only when the city is for example Chennai. How can we do that? You can use a function called as filter. Okay, you can say filter and first of all select the range, right? I want to see all the columns and then I have to put a condition. So I can just select this column, right? And say whenever this is equal to Chennai. Close the brackets and boom, we have like all the values. If I change this Chennai to Delhi, then we have the daily values, right? By just writing one formula, we're getting value for so many columns. Very, very useful function. Second trick. Suppose you're working for a company which deals with like non-English customers. Say they give you some product review, right? French person randomly wrote this and you're confused, right? You don't understand what it is. You can use Google Translate, right? And then just select the text. In our case, we know it's French, right? So we want to convert the French into English. So if you say FR, then EN as the next argument. And boom, we have it. It says quality of product was bad. Moves, I think, means bad in French, right? It was not good or something like that. Very useful trick again. Trick number three. Uh, suppose you, you know, like you, you have like Amazon, Apple, Google, you know, the sales, right? Suppose you want to find the lag values of sales, right? How can you do that? So you can use the offset function first, right? You can say offset of uh, C3, right? Cell C3. Then you want to offset it by one row, like above. That's why you say a minus one. Column, you don't want to offset, so you can say zero, right? If I do this, so what we get is basically the previous value right like the uh, value in the previous row right but however right in some cases as you see here it's showing 900 right for uh, for previous value but the previous row is actually it belongs to apple as you guys see right so we want to do it company specific otherwise leave it blank so for that we can just change this formula that we can say if a3 right that company name equals a2 in that case, do the offset. Otherwise, just leave it blank. Right? If A3 equal to A2, offset if not blank. Now, if I copy the formula, as you see, wherever, you know, there is previous value for the same company, we are getting 400. Here, Apple previous row value is not there. Here, previous row value of Apple is 700, we are getting it, right? And so on. So quick way to use the previous row, like kind of like lag function in SQL essentially. Trick number four. So we are given a text like this. How do we extract the number from this? You can say rejects extract, right? This is a function. Uh, I can select this as the text. And then you can, you know, give this rejects expression. It's called like slash D plus. Right, so slash D plus, right? you type this and boom, you get the number, right? Like the first number that is available. Suppose I change this 25 to 29, our formula will change accordingly. Using the D plus will give us the first number or digit that's found. Another interesting trick. Next one. So we are given like two people's names, Aditya, Vishal and the cities. Okay. Suppose I want to see all the cities traveled by Aditya and also by Vishal separated by hyphen. How can we do that? You can simply say text join, right? Use text join function S separated by hyphen. So I put the hyphen as the first argument. You know, we don't need to bother about empty here. All values are filled. And then here I can introduce a filter. So I can say filter for like city values. Okay. Where name is equal to let's say for instance Aditya I'll type Aditya then I get he has been to Shanghai Mexico City and Sydney as you see right instead of Aditya I can also change this to Vishal now I'll see he has been to New York Frankfurt Singapore 
by the way this is actually me and my brother and we've actually been to these cities just a funny trick next one like we have like some country names we want to find like the unique country names how can we do that there's a unique function here in google sheets you say unique and select your range and there you go we have the four unique values india england new zealand sri lanka india was repeated twice the repetition is removed right pretty useful trick again if you wanted to count the number of unique values you could say count unique this is like count distinct in uh, uh, excel i mean in sql now when you do count unique you get four values right very useful trick again finally given two values you want to say do a formula which says the first number plus 1.2 times the second number right we could do a normal formula but there's another way to do it using something called as lambda you can see lambda of x comma y in my case i said it should be first number plus 1.2 into second number right close this open brackets again and just select these two numbers right so first number plus 1.2 times second number so we'll get 78 so it's basically 30 plus 1.2 into 40 which is 30 plus 48 78 so now if i go and change these numbers as you see values will change automatically okay powerful function just to introduce a formula into the function and use like cell values now if i vary these values as you see the calculation will automatically change right so i hope you enjoyed these tricks very useful to take your excel to the next level most of these are intermediate to advanced concepts by the way if you guys are interested in knowing more excel tricks apply it to a marketing context check out the link in the description section there's a course conducted by a company called Pathsetter. It's a data science and marketing course. You learn these interesting tricks in Excel, SQL and also apply it to a practical context. I'm looking forward to seeing you in other videos. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel. Till then, take care. Bye.